try this bond rotation exercise. So rotate carbon two 180 degrees along the C2 to C3 axis. So do work it out by yourself, press pause, work it out by yourself, and then when you're ready, press play. All right, so let's just continue using the steering wheel analogy we had for doing bond rotations. It's kind of like a training wheel for figuring out how to do bond rotation. So again, imagine we're doing a rotation of our steering wheel by 180 degrees. So call this one, two, and three, and we're gonna rotate 180 degrees here. So we still get a steam. The steering wheel is the same, but now we've actually, everything's been rotated 180 degrees. So one is actually gonna be on the bottom. Two is gonna be over here and three is going to be over here. Now again, imagine that that our molecule here is like we're looking at the steering wheel from the side. Okay, we're looking at it from the side. So if we imagine that we have this, this, and this, this is actually our CH3. This is pointing straight up. Okay, it's in the plane of the page. Now this is pointing towards us. This is our OH. And the thing pointing back is gonna be the H. Okay. So the OH is pointing towards us, the H is pointing away, the CH3 is in the plane. And maybe we can just give these the same number. So one, two, three, okay? Now, imagine that we've done this And we're going to have, oops, um, make it a little nicer here. So that's going to be pointing straight down. And that's going to be pointing, one's going to be pointing towards us, which is that. That's going to be pointing away from us. And so just like we did on this top example where one became from straight up to straight down, one is going to become from straight up to straight down. Two is going to be the one that's pointing um, out of out towards us, and three is going to be the dash that's pointing away from us. So if we mapped one onto CH three, that means that our CH three is going to be down here, and that also means that our H is going to be here, and our OH is going to be here on the dash. So doing this, let's write everything out. So four three, two. Now, the CH3 is now going to be pointing straight down. Instead of being in the plane up, it's going to be in the plane down. So CH3 goes here. Then our H is going to be a wedge. So it's going to be out of the plane as a wedge like that. And then we have OH, which is going to be out of the plane the, and up to the back, so like that. So that is what happens when we rotate this 180 degrees along the C2 to C3 axis, at least when we rotate C2. Now, we also could have rotated C3, we also could have rotated C4. What would C4 look like? That's pretty straightforward. Uh, let's just draw that out. So imagine that we rotated C4 here. The C4 should just be pointing straight. It should go from down in the page to up in the page. So everything else should remain the same. The OH is there. The H is there. And the CH3 is there. So this would be one, two, three, four. Okay, so these are simple confirmations of each of these, uh, this initial molecule. All of these three molecules are related through bond rotations. And so they're the same molecule, they've just been um, rotated uh, along one of their bonds. So they have different 3D um, orientations of their atoms in space, but you can interconvert all of them through bond rotations. All right.